Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're gonna change the CSS of an element using jQuery. We can also change the CSS of an element directly, uh, an element directly with jQuery. jQuery has a function called .css that allows you to change the CSS of an element. Here's how we would uh, change its color to blue. CSS, color, blue. This is slightly different from the normal CSS de de declaration because the CSS property and its value are in quotes and the separated with a comma instead of a colon. It, see, it's in quotes and it's, and it's separated with a com comma rather than a colon. Whereas a normal CSS declaration would be something like color, color is equal to blue. That's how it would look in normal CSS, but here we're adding parentheses around it and we're separating it with a comma and then we're also putting, no, no, the CSS needs the, com or the thing around it anyways. Okay, uh, so what we want to do is delete our jQuery selectors, leaving an empty document ready function and select target one and change its color to blue. Okay, so this could be confusing um, for sure. Delete your jQuery selectors, leaving an empty document ready function. So this is our document ready function, and we want to delete all of our jQuery selectors. So we're going to get rid of all this stuff. And then what we want to do is select target one. Um, so the best way to select target one is by an ID, right? The ID of target one. And so we can go uh, bling, and then our ID, which is pound, and then we're going to go target one and we want to go uh, CSS and we want to change its color to red and you'll see it's changed the color of the uh, text inside the button to red uh, you should only use the jQuery to add these classes to the element yeah when okay cool that passes that's the way you go so I'm gonna right click here and inspect um, let's see what's happened to target one I'm going to expand this guy out. Um, here's our button. I always like to separate the buttons out so it's easier to see. I do this to make it so that the code's really legible and it makes it so it's easy to read. Um, so here's our, our div of our well and then we've got three buttons. One, two, three. One, two, three. And in here we've got our class of button button default tar and button tar default target. Um, so let's right click here, inspect the button one, and we'll see that its style, even though we don't have any style elements in here, its style has now become color red. And so jQuery has correctly um, translated this color red into the proper style. Um, another, you can always do inline styles, but it's not a good idea. jQuery is a great, good way to add them there. I wonder what would happen if we had some sort of a style in here that already existed. So maybe say um, uh, font family and we made that uh, sans uh, serif uh, serif okay cool it didn't change anything our target one is still <clears throat> has the style of the color of red what happens if we remove the class selector from it and then we come back and we go target uh, position one. We see the font family is now serif. So the style has actually been overwritten by this. So this takes all of whatever things. So let's say we had, instead of saying font family, let's say we had a color of, uh, of green. Style color green. Style color green. Style color green. Why is that not working? Oh, it needs to be equals. Sorry, I've been do writing too much Ruby. See, okay, so now it's, it, the color has become green. And if we were to inspect the element on the button, we'll see that the style is color and green. So now if we uncomment this, it actually overrides what was in our HTML and sets the color to red. Um, I wonder, and then I wonder if we did like font weight uh, like 500 or something like that. That would be a text. Oh, we could do text decoration. Okay, so, and then I can go underline. Okay, sweet. So this is interesting. It doesn't actually override all of them. It just overrides the one. So if we were to comment out text color to red here, we're not replacing the CSS but we're actually 
the uh, style on number one. In our HTML, we've set it to green and our text dec dec decoration to underline. But if we use our jQuery and we replace the CSS of color, it only replaces the color. We still, if we inspect the element, have the text decorate decoration underline. And so this is just kind of the way it works. Um, I'm just going over it. None of this is important in terms of um, passing the tests. I'm just trying to go more in depth so that you have an understanding of how this works. Um, changing this HTML doesn't matter to the tests because once you have this uh, jQuery object in here, it works. And you could just say, um, another thing you could do is go like, let the um, target one, target one equal the selector. And then you could just use target one. Uh, as, you could set it as a variable and then use target one to change the color to red. And you'll see it still works here. And then you could do other stuff if you wanted to. So if you did target one, uh, or you could console log target one. And that'll give you an idea for how it looks in terms of how the back end's processing this jQuery object. Um, so yeah, that would probably pass the test as well. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.